I'm Ellie and I've spent the past few months converting this 2007 Toyota Hiace I have called Arcadia into a camper van for traveling in and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I installed the tap and the sink that you can see in the background and also my entire plumbing system which feeds into that. I'm Ellie Wilder and you're watching Wilder in Motion. In my previous video I installed my bench tops and my sink is going to be installed in the far end of my fixed bench top. I started by tracing around the sink and then I measured one centimeter in, drew a line running parallel to my outline and then used a drill to make some holes in the bench top large enough that I could fit my jigsaw in. Then I used my jigsaw to cut out the hole for the sink. Because my bench top is quite thick this did take a little patience. I went with a bit of a fancy brass tap so that it would match the rest of my kitchen handles and my storage area handles and it also has a pull down faucet. It is a bit of a focal point in the van so I'm glad I went with a good quality faucet. I used a special drill bit to cut a hole above the sink in the bench top which the tap could drop into. Once the tap was secured to the bench top I started with the plumbing. The first step was to screw the hot and cold water inlets into the base of the tap. Then I pre-drilled and screwed my 12 volt water pump into the inside of the cupboard. Then I used a T-joint to combine the hot and cold water inlets. This is because I don't have a hot water heater. Now this will be feeding tepid water to both sides. It would probably work if I just plugged into one side, but I decided to go with both to make sure I would maintain the water pressure. I've used a couple of joiners to narrow the other side of the T-joint so that this can fit some irrigation tubing into the side of the water pump. All of this is connected using some ring clamps. I attach the same kind of plastic tubing to the other side of the water pump and then this goes into my 20 litre fresh water tank. Then I attach the extension hose and the weight which is what allows the faucet to be pulled out at the top. I've chosen a stainless steel sink from Ikea. Originally I wanted a porcelain sink to go with the look of my van, however when I saw it in person it was way too large so it just would have looked ridiculous in the space so I went with a smaller stainless steel sink instead. For the drainage of the sink I've also used some irrigation tubing, this time a bit larger to fit more to the size of the original drain and a steel ring clamp to drain things into a 10 litre grey water tank. I do have another 20 litre fresh water tank which I'm just carrying in my skinny storage cabinet here for the moment. The rest of this under sink cupboard is kind of like my bathroom. It's where I'm keeping my camping toilet which is just a simple flushing tank at the top and then black water tank at the bottom. I also attached a toilet roll holder to the door of the cupboard. To make things a bit easier to access the toilet and get it in and out of the cupboard, I used some liquid nails to stick some caster wheels onto the bottom of the toilet. I've seen a few van lifers who don't have a separate toilet area complain about having to have the other person leave the van if they're traveling with someone else when one of them wants to use the bathroom. And so with my system you open the cupboard doors which allows access to the toilet paper, the toilet slides out and extra privacy can be obtained by opening the wardrobe door which is behind the toilet area. And then I'm also storing in here the blue chemical which goes in my black water tank in my toilet and then the pink chemical which goes in the upper cassette and some spare toilet paper of course and then this part here is where the toilet normally sits. And to give myself some extra light at night time I have stuck a battery powered puck light inside the cupboard which just presses to turn on. I finished my sink area off with a couple of accessories. The first one is a collapsible dish strainer I got from the reject shop which absolutely fits my sink perfectly. And I also got a couple of little wooden boxes from Kmart to sit either side of the tap and this can hold things like soap. Now if you remember back to my van design video, I originally also planned to have an outdoor shower connected to this same 12 volt pump that when I opened the door I could access the shower outside there. However, one even better thing about having this pull down faucet and positioning it where it is, is when I spin it 180 degrees, it actually overhangs outside the van and then I can pull down the tap area and use it to wash my hair. So now, theoretically, I have water, except I don't because my charge controller broke after like one hour. That's pretty much the only thing I'm waiting on 
for my trip at the moment but when it does arrive I'll be able to do like my full electrics video because there's lots to it that I really want to go through with you but it needs to be working first. <laughs> I was a bit nervous going in about doing this plumbing myself, but actually once I figured out what I needed to join to what thing, and then I just took all of the items to Bunnings and talked to someone there and they were able to show me the different connectors and things like that, and through a bit of trial and error and putting things together at Bunnings, I was able to make sure that I got all of the parts I needed in one go and everything would fit together. So I definitely think this is totally an achievable DIY to be able to do the water system yourself, especially if you're not using a hot water heater and doing something simple like I have where it's just manually changing in and out the wastewater and freshwater systems. Well, as always, I hope you found this interesting, entertaining, or useful. I am so close to be able to leave on my fan journey, and I can't wait to do a full tour when everything's done for you guys. So if you don't want to miss that, then make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.